U-28 Creature The U-28 Creature is perhaps the most credible account of a sea monster sighting in modern history. Still, the events that occurred on July 31st, 1915 would be so disturbing to the crew that its commander would risk his career by writing an official report describing a never-before-seen creature of colossal proportions. U-28 was one of the most successful German ships during World War I, sinking over 40 ships in the span of four years. The crew that worked on the vessel was exceptionally trained, very experienced, and honor-bound to military tradition. During that fateful day in 1915, the U-28 intercepted a British merchant ship off the coast of Ireland. The German submarine then torpedoed the merchant steamer, causing irreparable damage, and then surfaced to witness a potent blast coming from the sinking location. The sighting was attributed to the British boilers exploding. However, as the dramatic explosion occurred, the commanding officer aboard the U-boat, Captain Lieutenant Freiherr Georg Gunther von Furstner, reported seeing something extremely unusual and frightening. Quote, the wreckage remained beneath the water for approximately 25 seconds, at a depth that remains clearly impossible to assess, when suddenly there was a violent explosion which shot pieces of debris, among them a gigantic aquatic animal, out of the water to a height of approximately 80 feet. At that moment, I had with me in the conning tower six of my officers of the watch, including the chief engineer, the navigator, and the helmsman. Simultaneously, we all drew one another's attention to this wonder of the seas, which was writhing and struggling among the debris. The captain went on to describe the creature as an aquatic crocodile measuring about 60 feet, with four limbs and a long tail. He claimed to be unable to take a photograph as the animal sank out of sight after 10 to 15 seconds. The groundbreaking sighting of the monstrous sea creature would be questioned by many people for decades. However, the captain and crew's reputations have given some validity to the story, and many experts consider the possibility that this might have been a real encounter with a prehistoric creature. The similarities of the U-28 creature with an ancient Mosasaurus, a prehistoric sea crocodile that roamed the oceans millions of years ago, cannot be disregarded. Some have even suggested that the U-28 crew stumbled upon a deep-sea creature exploring the surface, and that massive monsters still dwell within the ocean's depths, waiting to be discovered. Trunko On December 27th, 1924, the London Daily Mail published a story titled Fish Like a Polar Bear. In the article, the publisher reported a witness account of an enormous furry creature similar to a polar bear that was fighting two killer whales off the coast of South Africa. The unique beast was described as having an elephant-like trunk and being covered in thick white fur. During the three-hour battle with the whales, the unusual creature was reported to have lifted itself up by about 20 feet, towering over its enemies. After the savage confrontation, the carcass of the strange beast ended up washing up on Margate Beach. Once there, numerous people were able to see the creature up close and confirmed that it was much larger than a polar bear and that it was covered in a white fur-like material. The carcass remained beached for over 10 days, but was not investigated by any reputable scientist. However, numerous anecdotes from local farmers confirmed the story. The creature's body was measured by curious locals, concluding that it had a length of almost 50 feet and a 5-foot-long trunk. For many years, the story of Trunko was believed to be just a myth, as there was no evidence of the monster's existence. However, in September of 2010, four photographs of Trunko's body were uncovered. The shocking images resurrected the debate over the existence of the sea monster, and for the first time, attracted the attention of scientists and historians from across the globe. Many cryptid enthusiasts believed that the revelation of the photographs proved once and for all the existence of hidden, unfathomable creatures living in the farthest reaches of the Earth. However, as scientists analyzed the images, they quickly discarded that theory. Paleontologist Darren Nash commented about the photos, quote, They showed that it was the rotting carcass of a large vertebrate, most likely a whale. The idea that this was really the body of a white-furred, trunked sea monster stems from naivete about the appearance of rotting animal carcasses. The photos suggest that this is another globster, a rotting mass of whale tissue. The general opinion seemed to agree with Nish, but many individuals have claimed that there is no way to assure Trunko was the carcass of a whale just by looking at the images. For them, the possibility that it was a sea monster is still valid, along with the likelihood that others like it may still roam the ocean floor.
USS Stein Monster. In 1976, USS Stein, a U.S. Navy Knox-class destroyer escort, encountered peculiar difficulties with its sonar unit and was ordered to return to base. When the vessel was inspected at the base, technicians found that the no-foul rubber coating of her ANSQS-26 sonar dome was severely damaged, and the organic pattern seemed to indicate that a living creature was responsible. Taking her name from Marine Tony Stein, a renowned hero in the Pacific Theater of World War II, USS Stein was a mighty U.S. naval asset with long combat service experience. After her sonar unit malfunctioned in 1976, it was discovered that its sonar dome was damaged. The source wasn't clearly explained, but the dome had suffered numerous cuts that seemed arranged in a peculiar pattern. Experts concluded that the sonar unit slashes were similar to those caused by the arched hooks on the suction cup's edges of some squid's tentacles. However, the marks left on USS Stein were much more prominent and profound than any squid species ever recorded. Calculations would later reveal that if a squid creature had been responsible for the damage, it would have to be at least 150 feet in length. Biologists know that such monstrous krakens only exist in prehistoric records or fantasy fiction. However, the possibility still remains that the ship was attacked by a surviving specimen of the ancient and gigantic squid creature Toothus rex. Still, the existence of Toothless Rex is denied by modern biology, but with so much of the deep ocean still unknown to humankind, it is possible that such ancestral and colossal monsters still live somewhere deep below the sea. The Bloop During the Cold War, the U.S. developed specialized hypersensitive listening devices to detect Soviet submarines and locate them before becoming a threat to national security. As the Soviet Union collapsed in 1992, many such devices were deemed unnecessary and donated to scientific agencies for research purposes. Then, in 1997, the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration picked up on a distinctive sound in the South Pacific. The powerful, ultra-low frequency underwater sound was like nothing ever recorded by underwater research. It was nicknamed the bloop because the sound resembled the pronunciation of that word. Researchers from the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration hurried to try to explain what might have caused such a rich and unusual sound, and preliminary reports concluded that the sound was similar to those produced by whales and other mammals. The report suggested that the source of the sound was an enormous, still undiscovered marine mammal, and further estimations showed that for an animal to produce that sound, its mass would have to be up to five times that of the largest blue whale specimens. For years, the undiscovered marine mammal theory became the official explanation. However, in 2012, the organization revised its previous conclusion and stated that the sound was, quote, consistent with noises generated by a non-tectonic cryosisms originating from glacial movements such as ice calving or an ice quake, seabed gouging by ice. Nevertheless, the initial explanation has not been entirely discarded, and a massive whale-like creature might still be the source of the mysterious sound. Megalodon. Thought to have gone extinct over 2.6 million years ago, the Megalodon still fascinates researchers and cryptid aficionados to this day. With an estimated length of up to 60 feet, the massive sharks would have been as long as a bowling lane and as huge as a sperm whale. Little evidence is left to support an accurate description of the ancient sharks. Still, fossils of their seven-inch teeth give scientists a reasonably good idea of the size and behavior that the colossal sea monsters might have showcased. It is estimated that the megalodon's jaw could have been as wide as 10 feet and able to output a force of over 19 metric tons. Considering such impressive characteristics, they could have easily hunted and eaten whales. Although officially extinct, numerous sightings of colossal sharks are continually claimed by sailors and fishermen alike to this day. In 1981, naturalist David Stead interviewed several fishermen who claimed to have seen a megalodon in a fishing ground off Broughton Island. According to the fishermen's consensus, the creature was, quote, at least as long as the roof on the wharf shed at Nelson's Bay. The whole community was terrified of the massive creature, and the men refused to go near the fishing grounds again. Another incident that suggests the existence of live megalodons occurred off the edge of Australia's Great Barrier Reef in the 1960s. A group of sailors confessed that on one occasion, their 85-foot ship was forced to anchor for engine repairs, and the seamen were shocked to encounter an enormous white shark swimming slowly past their vessel. 
According to the sailors, the shark was as long as their ship, and it was definitely not a whale. There are many possible explanations for such incredible sightings, and one of them is the possibility of a small number of immense ancient sharks still roaming the waters near Australia. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting history-inspired videos. And if you want to watch more enthralling content, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels.